Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to Oracle database in Visual Studio. Well, this is a module, public module, that we declare our connection. It's Oracle connection. And this will be the connection string later. I declare it as empty now. So, before you start, you have to import Oracle database client, reference it from here. Right? So you got to install the Oracle Developer tool to have this DLL to add in. Right, a lot of people having problem with it is because of the connection string. Okay, it's much more complicated if you compare it to Microsoft SQL Server. There will be a host name. Okay, a protocol to use usually is TCP, and the port number by default is one five two one. Okay. A lot of people confusing by the host, which is the computer name, and a service name to use wrongly, and user ID, and make sure you're logging into the correct schema. Okay, to check this, you can actually go to your install directory of your Oracle. Say my is E. Look at Oracle EXE application, Oracle product, uh, whichever uh, version you are installing, server, network, admin. From here, you can see your Oracle files here. One is the listener, which indicates which path is listening from. And you can look at this TN, TNS names, okay? The service name to use for your connection, and then host port number. So, when you have this connection string, it's easy. Look at what I've done. Connect. Okay. Connection string equals to this. Okay. Then we open the Oracle DB, passing the string over, and just connection dot open. That's all. Simple. And then I put the state of the database here. Let's have a look. Okay. Connect. See, open. Right. So to retrieve data, okay. You can actually write a, net, a normal SQL statement. Select star from TV test. This is the table that I've created in Oracle. I'll show you. There are four columns: number, date. Embryo character, timestamp. Alright? Simple. So from here, we actually pass this SQL statement. Command type is text. We will create a Oracle data reader and read it. And put the four data into an array string and then edit to the pre-configured data grid view. Let's take a look. Right. So this is the link view. You can actually click on it and you know, open Google from Right, is the inserting data is the same. Insert into TV test, these are the columns, values, and we pass the parameter here. One, two, three, four. And you declare. You set the individual values. Okay. You execute non query, that's it. You will be inserted. Okay, 
inserted successfully. Try to fetch the data now. Came in. Alright. This is pretty simple. Uh, let's talk about stop procedure, which is more on the complex part. Okay. Say this is a data fetch by stop procedure created in Oracle. Say I fetch table two. Uh, sorry, column two. Right. Using stop procedure, first of all, you have to create a stop procedure inside the Oracle system. Oracle, the only difference between Oracle and uh, MS SQL is you actually uh, fetch data only by cursor. So you must create a reference cursor. You create or replace package, name it, add on a cursor, and mention it's a reference cursor, followed by the procedure name and declare the variables. The first variable, and then this is the cursor. In that means you are passing variable inside of this stop procedure. In and out, that means it can also pass out a result. Okay, and after you run this, you have to run the body, which is the specification of the package. Okay, everything is the same. Okay, and you say open v cursor for storing all this data. And then you mention your variable is equal to this V variable, sorry, V cursor, which kept all this data. And then end it. So later, the IO cursor will hold all your information. Let's try to run this. Package created. And then we run the body. All right. So now we can start to execute the stop procedure. So look at here. I will say the package dot my procedure name, and then I'll mention it's a stop procedure. So here I will declare my available. Okay? And then the value which is this. The IO cursor okay, will be the output. Parameter direction output. So from the output we can actually read from a data reader or you can fill it up with a data set. Okay? Which I have shown you just now. Let's try. Connect, open, giving the parameter of two. See. Okay, that's all for today. So, for those who are interested to actually learn more, I will actually compile, uh, not compiling, I will give the project, zip it up, and put on my website. So, you can go to my uh, profile and have a look on my website. You can download from there. Right, thank you.